Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking a clo clothing made of several thin layers of fabric with trapped air in between, often called ski clothing, is commonly used in cold climate because it's light, fashionable, and a very effective thermal insulator. So, it is no surprise that such clothing has largely replaced thick and heavy old fashioned coats. Now the question is asking, consider a jacket made of 5 layers, so we have 5 layers of 0.1 mm thick of synthetic fabric with 1.5 mm thick air space between the layers. Assuming the inner surface temperature of the jacket is 28 degrees Celsius and the surface area to be 1.5 m square, determine the rate of heat loss through the jacket when the temperature of the outdoor is 0 degrees Celsius and the heat transfer coefficient at the outer surface is 25 watts per meter square Kelvin. Now let's do this problem right here. So here they are asking for the heat rate of heat loss, right? So to find the heat rate of heat loss, we use this equation Q dot. Since they have uh, since they have given the surface temperature and the outer surface, outdoor temperature, so we are going to use these two to calculate this heat. Uh, heat loss rate. Now let's create the equation. So here we are going to have T surface minus T outdoor over R total, right? So this is the equation we are going to use. We have a T surface that's here 28 degrees Celsius and T outdoor that is 0 degrees Celsius but we have to find the R total. Now to find the R total let's uh, through the resistance diagram. So they are saying we have five layers of thick synthetic fabric. So if we start from inside, so first we are going to have a fabric, then air, then fabric, then air, then fabric, then air, then fabric, and then air. So totally we have, have five layers of fabric. Now let's count this one. So let's say this is T1. So this is uh, R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7, R8, R9 and then we are going to have R outside, right? And here the first one, we are starting with fabric. So this one is fabric, then air. This one is fabric, then air, this one is fabric, then air, this one is fabric, and then air, then this one is fabric. Now we have five layers of fabric, and we have four layers of air, and we have outside convection resistance. Now let's uh, go ahead and calculate one, th one of these. And if we calculate one of these to find the five layers, uh, we just have to multiply by five. Now to find the one of these, so this is convection, right? So this is convection to find the one of, the, so let's create, let's equate everything. R fabric is equal to R1 is equal to R3 is equal to R5 is equal to R7 is equal to R9, right? Now let's find one of that. R fabric to find the, so since this is a convection, to find the conduction resistance, we use the L over Ka. Here, the thickness of the fabric is provided at 0.1 millimeter thick. So this is going to be our zero uh, thickness, and this is 0.1 millimeter, 0.1 times 10 to the power minus 3, right? If you convert into meter, and then we have K conductivity of fabric that is 0.13 watts per meter Kelvin. So this is going to be 0 0.13 watts per meter Kelvin times the area. Area is here provided 1.25 meter square. So here we have 1.25 meter square. And if you calculate this one, you should get this value 0 0.006 degree Celsius. So it should be 30. 36 uh, degrees Celsius per watts. So this is our R fabric. Now we have uh, this one RAR. Again, this is also conduction. 
So we are going to use the same equation again. R A R is going to be equal. To, let's equate everything. R A R is going to be R two that is going to be equal to R four that is going to be equal to R six. Then that is going to be equal to R eight, right? So this is going to be equal to R eight. Now, if we find one of them, then we can multiply by four. Now let's go ahead and find one of them. R A R again. That's conduction, so we are going to use the same equation. L over K. So thickness of air. So thickness of air they have provided 1.5 mill millimeter. So that's what, that's the one we are going to use. 1.5 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meter, and thermal conductivity of air. That is provided right here, 0 0.026, 0 0.026 watts per meter Kelvin, and the area that is again 1.25 meter square, right? So this is going to be multiplied by 1.25 meter square, and if you calculate this one, you should get 0 0.0462 degrees Celsius per watts. Now we have to calculate outside convection because we have convection right here so we have to calculate outside convection so whenever we have convection we use this equation 1 over HA and this is a heat co heat transfer coefficient so that's going to be H outside so let's see so here they have provided that 25 watts per meter square so that's the one we are going to use right here. So this is going to be 25 watts per meter square Kelvin times the area. So outside again, the area is going to be same, 1.25 meter square. And if you calculate this one, you should get 0 0.032 degrees Celsius per watts. Now we have this R fabric, R air, and R outside convection. Now since they are in series, we can add them directly. Now let's find the R total, because that's our purpose, right? We are trying to find Q dot. So we need R total for that. R total is going to be equal to R fabric. So we found out one of them. We have five layers, so we have to multiply that on five. This one by five. So this one is five R fabric plus, then we have four layers of air. So we have to multiply this one by four. 4 R air and then we have outside convection resistance. Now 5 times fabric that is 0 0.0006 plus 4 times air that is 0 0.0462 plus outside convection that is 0 0.032. Now if you add them together that should give you 0 0.2198 degrees Celsius per watts. Now we have the R total. Now we can go ahead and calculate this Q dot. Now we need we need space so I erase this part. Right. Now let's go ahead and cal calculate Q dot. Q dot is equal to T surface that is 25 uh, 28 degrees Celsius. So this is going to be 28 minus T outside 0, 0 over R total that we calculated right here, 0 0.2198. And if you calculate this Q dot, that should give you 127.39 watts. So that answers our first question. So this is our answer for the first question. Let's box this one. And now let's look at the second question. The second question is asking, what would your response be if the jacket is made of single layer of 0 0.5 millimeter thick synthetic fabric? Now this thickness is 0 0.5 millimeter and they are saying single layer. So we don't have five layer and single layer and there's no air in between, right? So let's see what, what will happen if it was like this. Now let's go ahead and use the same equation. Q dot is going to be equal to T surface over T outside over R total. Now here the only thing that's going to change is this R total. Now let's plug the values instead of uh, instead of writing the equation again, right? So 
So let's go ahead and write the values. So Q dot is equal to again surface temperature is 28 minus T outside is again 0 and then R total. So this is going to change. Now the new R total is going to be R fabric. So we know that uh, for one fabric we calculated that is that was zero point this value right so here we have five layers of fabric but we calculated this one for zero point one one millimeter right so here we have zero point five millimeter so since this is zero point one millimeter if I multiply this one by five that's gonna be equal to zero point five millimeter so here we are not multiplying because we have five layers because we have only one layer but we are multiplying by 5 because if I multiply this one by 5 that should that will give us 0 0.5 millimeter thickness right so let's so this is the same value we are going to use 5 times 0 0.0006 so this value is going to be same but the thing is we don't we are not going to have air so this one is going to not going to exist right here but we are going to have outside convection so this one plus 0 0.032 and if you calculate this value you should get 800 watts so if it's just single layer the heat transfer rate is going to be really high right so that's going to be the answer for this question now let's go ahead and see what what will have so let's look at the third question what should be the thickness of a wool the thermal conductivity of the wool is given. If the person is to achieve the same levels of thermal comfort wearing the thick wool coat instead of five levels of ski jacket. Now, basically they are asking to reach same level of this resistance. So that's the only thing that's gonna change the heat transfer rate, right? Because we are not, the Q dot, this temperature is not going to change. So the only thing we are, that, that's going to affect is R total. So to achieve this one, we have to give, we have to get the same R total. Now let's see how we can get the same R total. So maybe I raise this part right here. Right. Now let's look at the third question. So we just have to get same amount of R total. And here the question is asking for the thickness. So they are asking what should be the thickness. So thickness is the question. So thickness is L over. So here if you see question L over Ka. And we are also going to have outside convection, right? So this is going to be 1 over HA. Now 1 over HA is not going to change. So it's going to be the same value 0 0.032. R total we have to get same thing and conductivity is provided right here area is going to be same thing now let's plug all the values so total should be this one 0 0.2198 and then you know what before I do that maybe I change this one instead of L and solve for this one Or just plug the values and see what happens. So L over K A thermal conductivity is pro provided right here. So this one is 0 0.035 times the area. So area is 1.25 again because previously provided 1.25 and convection we calculated already. That is 0 0.032. Now let's rearrange this equation. And if you rearrange this one and calculate this one, this should give you 0 0.00822 meter. That is same as 8.22 millimeter. So it's in order to achieve same level of same amount of resistance, this uh, wool fabric has to have 8.2 millimeter of thickness. So that's going to be the answer for the third question. And that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.